morning ladies and gentlemen i'm meezy69 welcome back to the channel in today's video we are going to play the caro 45t and the reason we're going to play this because not long ago i, I did a video where i said uh, a certain tank uh, was the worst in tier 10 uh, which is of course i said the amx 30b now a lot of you a hell of a lot of you not only did you say the chinese uh, medium tank was the worst tank in tier 10 but a lot of you actually said the caro 45t was um so that got me thinking like is it actually that bad so i got playing it and to be honest, I, I don't think the tank is bad at all. Of course, you've got to know how to play. It is a very difficult tank to play. Uh, with the reverse shell that it's got, you've got to learn... Um, you know, you've got to learn not to use that last shell. Of course, it is an auto-reloader, but if you use that last shell, then you've got a mega, mega long reload, which means your DPM absolutely sucks. Like, we're going to get into that in just a little bit. So the turret armor, very, you know, you, you haven't got a lot. You haven't got a lot of turret uh, armor in general. 102 millimeters on your turret, 68 on your hull. So basically, you are paper thin. There are opportunities to get bounces. If you are in a hold down uh, position, you may get the, the lucky troll bounce. But you cannot rely on the armor at all. So, DPM. For a tier 10 medium tank, which usually you look at around 3,500 DPM, this has 1,800 and 59 so basically half basically half the dpm that most of the other mediums in tier 10 has so yeah when you look at it like that it looks absolutely poor so it is an auto reloader as i've said and you do have um 3.53 seconds in between each shot so you shoot uh, one shell and you've got 3.53 seconds in between that and the next shot so your first shot or actually your first shell which you shoot last um if you shoot that you've got a 20.82 second reload that is absolutely massive which uh which is why you need to not shoot it. Might as well wait, you know, might as well shoot the first shell, shoot the second shell, or shoot shell four, shell three, shell two, and then wait. Because if you do shell that shoot that final shell, you've got 20 and a half seconds left for the reload. You might as well keep that shell and wait seven seconds uh, plus your 3.5. So, you know, just over 10, almost 11, or about roughly 11 seconds instead of 20 uh, over 20 in fact so you might as well wait and you've got to learn to wait uh, it is hard it definitely is hard uh, to do those of you that haven't played the tank do you know if you have got it do try it because it's when you've got a tank that is circling you or you're circling a tank a tank destroyer or whatever um, you need to try and refrain yourself from shooting that shell and it is very very difficult obviously you should always use that shell if it does mean that you're killing someone that will help the team. Of course, you can kill someone, um, but it, they might not be in a sort of dangerous position. And if they're not in a dangerous position, you might as well wait, reload, and then kill them still with your shell remaining. Um, penetration 252 on your AP, 326 on your APCR, 66 on your HG. You do have a 380 alpha gun. Uh, 330 on your APCR and 500 on your HE. Aim time uh, average at 3.2, the same as the gun dispersion, not great at 0.344. You only have, or you have, not only, you have 9 degrees of gun depression with a top speed of 53 miles per hour. Now, the thing with this tank, just like any other auto loader or, or any auto reloader, you actually build up damage very, very quickly. And, you know, it's... When you look at it, you think, how the hell have I done this amount of damage? Especially with the DPM of this tank. Um, you do build up damage pretty quickly. Especially if you do shoot your three shells. And then reload all four shells. And then shoot three shells again. Like, honestly, you do farm damage very quickly. And you'd be surprised at how quickly uh, your damage goes up. Of course, the DPM which we looked at, that is aimed at shooting all four shells, reloading all four shells, then shooting all four shells. Your DPM is actually much, much better if you use it as a single shot gun. Uh, but, you know, it's you're not going to really use it as a single shot gun in all honesty. Um, I'd always say if you can take out a tank, take it out. 
you know, just take it out. Don't let him get away. That was a poor shot there for me. Um, right here, for example, do we take the shot? We are going to take the shot. And there was a reason we was going to take that shot. I know it was the fourth shell, but we've got nothing else around us. Literally nothing else around us. So for me to actually go and get some shots off, I have to relocate. And by the time I relocated, I'm going to actually have my shells available anyway. So I... I took the shot knowing that, you know, I could have done without taking the shot because if I wouldn't have took the shot, by the time I even get to this position, I would have reloaded all my all four, or, uh, all four shells. So, you know, there's hits and misses. I took the shot because there was no one else around, but in hindsight, I should not have took the shot uh, because I would have reloaded a, a lot quicker. But I'm still taking it easy because I know that there are a few tanks around this side of the map. So I don't want to just rush in um, and then mess up, especially doing only 154 damage. So uh, here's the object. I've got two shells left. I'm going to luckily not have to use that shell. And here is when I'm like, okay, don't use the shell. Try your best. And sometimes it's, it, as I've said, it's easier said than done. It's like, oh shit, he just come in front of me and, and it scared me uh, so I took the shot so uh, again um, nice shot actually very nice shot so here we are going to push forward but I was going to take the shot but luckily I didn't uh, because I set him on fire and I would have actually used that shot to, to kill him because then if I do wait and reload he may have reloaded he may have got around the corner uh, and he would have been uh, yeah he would have easily been able to kill me so yeah there's place there's a place and time and that's what I'm trying to get at. there's a place and a time uh, to use that last shell but you do have to try to hold it as as much as you can I, I think that's about it from me to be fair i don't think i do any more damage um in this game so we are going to move on to the next game but even that that was um that was 4k damage like and we got that very easily and we didn't even really have to to work for that um for that damage and that is the thing when you play these kind of tanks not just this tank i'm not saying just this tank but any sort of auto loader auto reloader if you can get your magazine out and then reload and get your magazine out again you got to remember you're doing that that's sort of around three thousand damage and that's only sort of two lots of uh two lots of magazines you're going to be able to shoot two lot more than two lots of magazines in each battle uh you've just got to take your chances and yeah it's it, i like the tank i really like the tank uh, and i do understand how uh, and why some people are actually saying this tank is poor because if you don't know how to play it um it can be a poor tank you know it, it really can and because of the dpm it can suffer so um we're just going to watch this game um, poor standard B absolutely got ripped apart there. So we're just going to po po uh, poke a little bit forward to get the shot off and, of course, to get the kill. Not even a minute or just over a minute gone. Uh, and that's a medium auto reloader out of the game and actually a very dangerous tank. So getting him out of the game was an absolute must. But here, this is what I'm trying where you've got to try and hold... Uh, which is, this is what I'm saying when you've got to try and hold your nerve. Like, you're getting shot, but you still... And there's tanks all around you, but you just can't take the shots because you need that uh, You need that final shell. Um, even here, so we've got one shell left. I I'm so tempted to take the shot at this IS-4 to bring him down to a one-shot, but... I don't really want to be on a 20 second reload, but if I can take him out, I would have took him out. And, you know, you can see I went for the shot. Sadly, I didn't get the kill, uh, but luckily I just reloaded in time. Before you know it, I've done nothing. 2,200 damage. You know, 2,000, two minutes gone, 2,200 damage. There is just only three tanks left alive as well. So again, that gives me time to flank around, reload all four shells, and hopefully get a bit of damage into these guys. Uh, and then, of course, I, I do uh, just hit the tracks into this E4. But there's two shots, two shots left. I don't really want to go for them at this point. I do want to go for this object who is heading towards me, and I will need uh, a little bit of uh, help. But unless I do manage to get a bounce, just like that. So I've got one shell left. Am I going to use it? Of course I want to use it. Otherwise he'd be able to kill me. That just means 
I can't do anything for almost 20 seconds. And with seven of us still alive against two tanks, um, I'm not too worried, even at this point, if I don't get any more damage. So 3,400. Am I going to be able to get the final shot in? No, I'm not. But I don't care. I think that is a still a decent amount of damage. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think of the Caro. Um, honestly, I, I do like it, but I do understand why certain people think it is the, the worst in tier 10. Let me know your thoughts on the tank in the comments below. But for now, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I'm Meezy69, and I will catch you all soon. Bye-bye.